Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Oh, almost a jumper, but it stayed within the shuffle. A loud shuffle. And now we are ready with the High Priestess. And with this one also. So, your energies, guys. High Priestess power. Two of Cups. Strength card. Your person's energies. Page of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. King of Swords. Meeting energies. Nine of Wands. Page of Cups. The Focus. Knight of Swords. Bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles. Which is an energy about long term, legacy, a family opportunity, super auspicious as an energy, uh, a partnership that can be established on solid foundations. That's why it can aim at the chance to uh, go the distance. This is the higher goal, guys. Um, the type of scenario in the Lovarina that uh, some of you are looking for. We have two energies in particular, Strength Card and the Nine of Wands, that are about someone brave, someone courageous, someone that has gone through challenges along the journey. Bottom of the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Wands, which kind of resonates on an energy level, because if someone has been challenged, especially in Love Connections, because these are intended as uh, love readings. Maybe a connection didn't work and then a person takes a little bit of time to resist in some sense towards new interactions that maybe are not exactly in alignment with wishes and desires. This is a brave stand after all. But at some point this defense can be lowered when a meaningful interaction comes to play. This can be one of those cases because this person is extremely sharp and clear when it comes to their way of thinking and of expressing their thoughts. Plus there is trust with the Page of Pentacles and quite an active energy of communication with the Eight of Wands that becomes even more mean meaningful if we consider the Knight of Swords. For some of you guys, High Priestess, quiet energy, silence, we can agree, but the High Priestess speaks only the essentials, even if she knows everything. Uh, she's in touch with the higher world, the one that we cannot see, but the one that we can feel if we pay the right amount of attention. An attention that you are willing and capable to direct towards the interactions that can um, come towards you in the Love Arena. The Two of Cups is a soulmate type of vibration, we can agree. Deep love, uh, sincere feelings, um, but also respect, trust, fairness, balance, reciprocal support and understanding. Um, learning from each other, gaining strength from one another, all these powerful qualities. That's why I usually say that the Two of Cups for me is a chance to grow together with a special person. And the Ten of Pentacles can be a proof of a healthy growth in favor of a partnership. The Strength card is another energy that can bring in a meaningful factor about trust because the lady is able to establish a bond of trust with the gorgeous but still dangerous lion because she can display her finer qualities her true colors there is no facade there is no second intention coming from her that's why the meaning taming the beast it's a um, a pure act in some sense and I love to see the, the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, because your mindset can lead you towards some type of a reward in the Love Arena, because you have 
made the best out of the experiences that may have been challenging but you have caught the silver lining the learning curve has been mastered that's why the recognition um, can be in favor of this person maybe there is a touch of patience a touch of holding back with the strand card uh, no need to rush the connection no need to jump within it like there is no tomorrow but if the potential is recognized we are willing to allow the connection to flow in a smoother way with this lovely act of kindness so your person basically extremely clear with the king of swords brilliant mind he can pay attention to all the factors involved in a situation so that he can pinpoint between all of them in order to make the best out of the decisions communications and so forth there is trust there is clarity there is truth coming from the king of swords um, with the eight of wands which is a spiritual energy the communication can be uh, truly a pleasure when it comes to the chance of sharing feelings and words that can allow two persons to realize if they can be together for example the page of pentacles is a lovely token that can truly be about someone honest sincere trustworthy plus the page of pentacles for me is the most diligent between the four he wants to learn as much as he can so that he can be better and better and this can be about a person that is extremely open um, truly um, willing to interact in a, in a sincere way with someone that can be a source of interest and this can be truly the key to lower down a little bit the differences that we can associate to the seven of wands and the nine of wands uh, the wounded warrior is someone brave someone that has gone through the journey powering through the challenges learning quite a lot about himself and about the adventure there is an attention that is aimed to the opportunity to protect a little bit ourselves when we resonate with the nine of wands but this man is looking for trust this is the point for me with the energy and it can also be about this person but if that's the case basically they have mastered the clarity that is related to the type of partnership that they are looking for and because we have the a priestess which is about intuition about paying attention to the small details that can make the difference as soon as the recognition is achieved by the two of you this page of cups comes to play on an energy level and it can truly be the sweet act of kindness that can allow a connection to shift gear to move forward because the pages can be awkward and goofy as i usually say but they still deserve attention because they may have something important to say to share or to offer this can be the key to lower the differences and then there is a focus on the knight of swords which is an energy of communication super fast it goes with the eight of wands no harsh words in this case just the pleasure to interact with each other in a powerful way so that we can discover as much as we can about each other so this is also an energy that can be unexpected because maybe this person um, can approach some of you guys in a surprising way i am leaning towards them because of the fact that the a priestess is about silence and the strength card is about holding back so you can be in a position to receive a token then you will have to evaluate because um, basically free will is always a factor in our journey but overall the ten of pentacles can be the common goal that the two of you can share so guys let's pull some oracle cards for guidance considering these energies let's see what we can discover all right four cards in my hand so crossing bridges it's time for healing connecting mending and releasing well kind of the nine of wands 
a little bit also seven ones influenced a time for for healing we can agree but then we release the heavy energies we bring with us the lessons and we are ready to embrace a new endeavor great adventure well take a risk venture forward it can be a brave decision we can agree the one that is about embracing a new partnership but there is a lot of maturity in this flow of energies it can be about two persons that uh, are quite experienced and there is an attention to the details that can pay off cleansing waters purification activates vibrant life force kind of the point with the crossing bridges uh, time for healing and mending choosing your path all is possible well opportunities are in front of us every time we just need to pay attention to them and kind of be ready to make a decision when it is needed um, the choice is about the partnership but it seems also an opportunity that can be productive especially thanks to the clear communication that can be shared by the two of you kind of I am looking for this type of scenario because my experiences have allowed me to realize that this is the type of goal that I want to achieve and maybe two persons can realize that they are all in in favor of the same goal when it comes to love partnerships this is quite a starting point here we go no need to worry well with the eight priestess and the strength card bravery courage and uh, being intuitively guided absolutely no need to worry success ten of pentacles abundance the type of uh, final goal that a person may desire to achieve the situation will improve from the nine of ones towards the opportunity to be in a partnership that can go the distance this is quite a um, an auspicious um, transition abundance bottom of, of the situation will improve so guys success abundance uh, improving a situation from the challenges of the past towards a great adventure uh, quoting one of the uh, oracle cards it's a transition but it's blessed with clarity truth and love that's why it can be embraced with a certain level of comfort and then we go with the flow together working as a team guys this is a lovely flow i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful let us know if you resonate comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best guys take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye